Vanessa and Giovanna, please unmute yourself and you may now start your speech. Thank you, uh, G. Jocelyn. Based on our world in data, the average life expectancy of human beings are around 80 years old. Now, honorable judges, Mr. Arifin Fu, Ms. Hana Siite, Mr. Denny Adrian, respected committees, as well as my fellow friends and viewers, allow me to ask, how old are you? You can keep it to yourself. Calculate the difference between your current age and the average human lifespan. I'll give you a good five seconds to do some quick math. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Now, within the period of time that you got, do you want to remain the same or you have the will to improve? I believe everyone wants to be a better person than they were. So let me tell you a secret. Come closer. All you need is self-development. That's just between you and me, okay? However, take note that every individual's room for improvements are diverse. Some may be in arts, in sports, and many more. So everyone is different. There's a statement which I'm pretty sure we have all heard about. Story connects people, and I truly believe in it. I would like to share a little bit about myself and my journey. With me being here, some people may think that, ah, she's here and she's able because she was born that way, with the confidence to speak in the eyes of hundreds of people. Ladies and gentlemen, I am truly sorry to tell you that you're mistaken. The journey that took me here, the decisions that I've made are the exact seeds that I have planted. The flowers that bloom and the fruits that I harvest are what I have become. And there won't be any fruits nor flower without planting at least one seed. Correct me if I'm wrong. Back in 2017, during my high school, I participated in a similar contest that also requires public speaking skill. However, back then, I had no experience in it, and the only thing that I held on to was the mindset of developing myself by going out of my comfort zone and challenge my old introvert self, because I did not even have the slightest bit of courage to present in front of a 30 students class. Of course, if we're going to talk about courage, it wasn't easy. Let me emphasize it again. It was not easy. But by having a goal and solid purpose of why I'm interested in it, that brings me to who I am today. People around you can support you. That will be great. But that doesn't ensure your development if you're not passionate about it. In other words, the key is you and your willingness. Sometimes. People are so focused on winning and losing that they forget about the fact that they surely have learned about something new. And personally, I wouldn't mind losing because I know for sure that I will learn something valuable from it. In other words, not winning is way, way better than not starting at all. Honestly, I wouldn't want to picture myself for not taking those golden opportunities back then. It could have been the worst decision of my life. However, focusing on my current path, I am now a person who dares to speak and have the urge to influence yet inspire people to do the same. Remember the contest I've mentioned before? I have to go through three consecutive years of failure in order to surpass the contest. Therefore, with that being said, I would like you, yes, you, to try and retry. If you fail, try again. If you did not make it, work harder. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to take my hand. Together, let us withdraw the term give up and all the synonyms from our life's dictionary. Will you? I'm Vanessa Giovanna. Thank you. Great job, Vanessa. Let's give a round of applause. And next, I would like to invite Mr. Danny Adrian for giving his feedbacks and questions. For Mr. Danny, time and place is yours. Thank you, Jocelyn. Hello, Vanessa. Hi, I sir. Like message about uh, self development. I believe that 
question that is the answer for all those all the challenges that we might face in the future. So, um, um, sorry, yeah. sir, your first is not that clear. Oh, forgive me. Yeah. Oh, so, sorry. Uh, I mentioned that I like your idea of self development, and that it is the answer to almost all our problems. Now, my question to you, sir. You did mention that you do not mind losing. So my question is, what would you feel and what would you do if you lose in this big event? Thank you. Vanessa, you have 30 seconds to respond. Uh, before that, I would like to make it clear. Is it, uh, did you mention that if I lose at this uh, event? Yes, is that true? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so thank you, Mr. Denny, for your question. So personally, I'm very well prepared in this competition. I'm very enthusiastic because I participated in a similar contest. So uh, it was yeah, a similar contest where I need to do speech, I need to do catwalking, I need to do talent show. So I'm very well prepared here. But let's say, let's say I did not make it. It's okay, I have next year. Because to me, I'm better. it's better for me to be a loser instead of a quitter because winner can come from a loser but winner cannot come from a quitter thank you